Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our Pro Tools uh, tutorial videos. And on today's video, we're going to learn how to renumber bars in Pro Tools, okay? This is a, one of those features that I use pretty often, actually. And you're going to find this useful, especially when you receive tracks, uh, whether there are audio tracks or MIDI tracks that are coming from, let's say, other DAWs, for example. Uh, people tend to render from the actual start of the session, which is not necessarily the start of the performance. So, like for example, here, uh, I have this piano MIDI track that, as you can see, the, the actual uh, clip or MIDI clip, MIDI, MIDI region, um, it'll start right from measure one, beat one. But the actual performance starts on measure two, beat one. You can see it here in the region. Okay, oh, sorry, in the clip. Uh, you can see there's basically nothing on the first measure, the first bar. And then on the second, you can see the actual MIDI notes happening. So the actual performance starts here, okay? Now, let's say that you're doing your sound score um, or your production, and you're trying to turn this into an actual score, maybe a PDF and, you know, hand it to musicians or maybe an orchestra. It might be a little strange to see the performance uh, starting on bar two or measure two. You know, um, musicians like to start typically on the first measure. So yes, you could drag this to the left, but you might uh, encounter that if there's like automation and things like that, you might not want to do that. So uh, what do you do? Well, you can renumber the bar. So this bar two or this measure two, when you renumber it, it'll turn into measure one. So that way, when the actual performance starts, that's measure one, beat one. And whatever is before that, it's gonna be measure zero, measure minus one, minus two, so on and so forth. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, you wanna make sure you're in grid mode and you can see your grid, okay? And then you're gonna locate, locate um, your playback exactly on that bar, okay? This is bar two. That's where you want, or that's the bar that you want to start renumbering, okay? So once you're there, you can go to your event menu, and then you can click on renumber bars, okay? This option here, renumber bars. So the renumber bars window is gonna show, and here it says, renumber bars so that bar, in this case, two, so I'm gonna type two, becomes bar one. So what I'm telling you is, hey, Pro Tools, this bar two, I want you, I want you to change that to be b uh, bar one, so that everything to the right and to the left of that will get modified accordingly. So if this goes from two to one, that means that now whatever was, let's say three, it's now bar two, but whatever was before that, like for example, bar one, it's now gonna be bar zero. So it'll change the whole timeline accordingly to this um, parameter here. So bar two becomes bar one. If you click on renumber, boom, it just renumber that. So as you can see now, that old bar two that we used to have, it's now bar one. The actual bar three that we used to have is now bar two because it gets, um, it, it'll change accordingly. And whatever we had before that, which used to be bar one, is now bar, as you can see, bar zero. So bar zero beat one, two, three, four, and then it'll jump into bar one when the actual performance starts. You know, from a musician standpoint, this makes more sense, okay? So you have that there. So that's how you renumber bars in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're gonna be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon, bye-bye. Wanna learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.